Detectives say murder suspect Victor Richardson's mother led them to the murder weapon in the killing of an innocent tow truck driver who was training a new employee. The deadly shooting happened in DeKalb County at a Chevron gas station on Columbia Drive last May. The trial of the accused gunman continues today. Fox 5's Anjali Proctor joins us from the DeKalb County Courthouse. She is following the developments in the trial for us tonight, Anjali. Good afternoon, Christine. Yeah, the state really laid out its case today against defendant Victor Richardson. They did that through a series of police witnesses who all say that surveillance video shows Richardson actually killing an innocent tow truck operator. Prosecutors showed the jurors body cam video and surveillance video taken at the Chevron gas station on Columbia Drive when tow truck operator Christopher Harrow was killed. Detectives say the video puts the Diamondback rifle in defendant Victor Richardson's hand. They say he sprayed bullets from his black Chevy Impala after Richardson and tow truck employee DeAndre Dean got into an argument over money. He is firing at uh, Mr. Dean. So at this point, he fires back. At least two of those bullets hit tow truck operator Christopher Harrell, who had nothing to do with the argument. Police say they got a break in the case from suspect Richardson's mother. Yes, uh, detectives had responded to um, 7117 um, Stonebrook Cove in reference to um, a phone call that had been received um, from the uh, suspect's uh, mother. Um, and she called to say that her vehicle was at the um, location um, and the murder weapon was inside and detectives needed to come recover it. Prosecutors also showed jurors the handgun tow truck employee Dean likely had as the two men shot at each other. Defendant Richardson calls this a case of self-defense. He claims tow truck employee Dean fired first. Based on your view of the video and your investigation, believe that anyone else was involved in this shooting. No. And the state rested its case this afternoon. The defense is now calling witnesses. We hope to have some of that for you tonight at 5. We are live at the DeKalb County Courthouse. Angelique Proctor, Fox News. Angelique, thanks so much.